this uh, this guy that lived at 106 Howard, apparently he was taking all the uh, ornaments from the trees, and, and I mean, girls were leaving like letters to him, and, uh, just flowers, and just just some things. And I would go down there five days a week. If there was a soda bottle, I'd take it home with me. Or even if somebody's trash blew down the street, I'd pick it up. You know, just keep it nice, neat, and clean. It wasn't gaudy. Um, and, uh, you, you know, we had this uh, problem with the neighbor there. And, you know, the city, city mayor came to me. I was sitting out there. The mayor came by and he says, you know, can we resolve this? The deal was, if, if I would put a permanent plaque in the ground here, in front of this tree, will you go hunt? I started, I closed my book up, put the marker in it, got my stuff together, put it in the car. I said, we got a deal, we shook on it. Next day, the tree was gone. You know, so uh, he, he failed to mention that. Well, included with the track would be uh, a tree removal. So now there's nothing there to mark where he was slaughtered. They took our fucking tree away. That was like, that was not, a, not ours, his fucking tree. That was his tree for us to remember him by. Like, when I see that tree, it's like, when I did see that tree, when it was fucking there, it was like, like, it helped. It, it really did. We're still at that, that beginning point after almost a year, well, over a year and a half. We've had no sense of being able to move on, being able to, to even take a step forward because we're still getting pushed back. Chris was somebody's friend, somebody's son. No matter what the circumstances were surrounding his death, people could have a little fucking sympathy. And there were definitely, there shouldn't have been any opposition to anything surrounding what we wanted to do to memorialize him and whatnot. Like for the people that had shit to say about it, it wasn't right. Even people that weren't friends with Chris just knew that really Chris was not a fucking bad person at all. They knew he was a good person and they would, f they would write what they felt about him and it was just so inspiring. It was just like, it just felt so good to see that kids that weren't even front, that never even really hung out with Chris actually knew. They got to see like the, they got, they knew about Chris, like they knew how good of a person he was. And they got to mark their quotes on that sign and on the street, on the sidewalk. And it's just like, they erased it away, but his it doesn't matter. It's still in my heart forever. This like, can't I, I know. Again. I, I pretty much remember everything. Um, that people was need to be right aware there. of that. They need to be aware that this can happen anywhere. We talk very openly about him. Sometimes it's almost as if he's just going to come in the door because we just talk like, well, when you and Chris and Kelly and Chris were the well, they did this and then you know and they did that or last year you know we did this or that. So he's just he's everywhere. People to remember like how Chris was like not they're hearing people are saying stories and everything none of that's true. Chris was all down to earth like all all around good person like nothing bad about him. It's just I don't know it's a shame. It's all pretty much is it's a shame what happened. It's time to move on. I've taken steps towards making music with other close friends in remembrance of Chris, dedicating everything we do to Chris basically.